Hey, this is Pat coming to you from the Hardwire Tackle Box. Today I'd like to talk to you about a couple more things to help enhance your jigging experience. Uh, in the previous videos, we talked about putting the body and the skirt on. Today, I'd like to finish the seri video series off by putting on some stinger hooks, scent, and how to rig it onto your fishing rod. So we've got our jigs this far, and now I want to add a stinger hook to it. It's pretty simple. In case, you know, if you're out there fishing and the bite is finicky or you're having trouble hooking fish because they're hitting just the tail, sometimes you want to put a stinger hook on there to help catch the fish. What I do is take it out of the package. They come in packages with a couple zip ties and a stinger hook. I'm going to orient it to the direction I want the hook sitting. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees and slide it up over the tip and make sure that the barb passes through the V on the thimble. Now you want to be careful so you don't get stuck with any hooks while you're doing this because they are extremely sharp. Slide it around and then rotate it into place. Once I have it there, I'm going to apply a zip tie to it at the small of the table. Just suck it down. doesn't have to be super tight just enough to hold it in place so that it does not move side to side. Once you have that on there, you'll be want to be really careful catching fish because now you have to deal with two hooks coming up and taking two hooks out of the fish. In the event something happens and your body gets tore up, you can remove these stinger hooks by simply reversing the process. Once I get it ready to go, the next thing I would do is give it a little bit of scent. On our bodies, you can inject scent into the bodies in a few places, and it will last for a uh, half hour, 45 minutes, an hour. You'll know when it's time to do some more. Uh, on other bodies, you want to be careful because it might tear up the body as you're doing it. Lastly, I'd like to talk to you about once you get to this point and you're ready to go fishing, is, is I always use a jig leader. And this is a simple piece of heavy monofilament with a corkscrew swivel on one end and a swivel on the other end that goes directly to the jig head. Super easy to put on. And off to the fishing line. Now this serves two purposes. First of all, if you have a fish that's taken this really deep and the bite is extremely good at the time, you can leave the jig in the fish, undo the corkscrew swivel from it, and put another one on and get right back to the bottom. The other purpose it serves is if a fish comes around from the side and hits it up here, it's not going to cut your line with its teeth. The last thing I would highly recommend is putting a bead on between your swivel and your rod tip in case you get excited or somebody else on your boat gets excited and reels up the swivel into the rod tip, it will not break the ceramic. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to see them in the com uh, comment section below. Um, you can find all of this stuff at hardwiretackle.com and, and hardwiretackle dealers. Uh, please like and share the video. Thank you very much.